Hey everyone, I am TH Pine and welcome to Rainbow Six Siege. Before we start, this is not live, this is pre-recorded footage from the closed alpha and I will talk over it for a little bit. So when I first saw the E3 announcement trailer for this game I was truly amazed because I was always looking for an asymmetric tactical first person shooter and I'm a big fan of special operation forces be it in movies, books or games and this was a game about, her, about special operation forces and it was an asymmetric, tact asymmetric tactical shooter. So yeah, I was very very looking forward to trying this and so I got very excited when I got in the alpha because I wanted to know uh, if the game holds the promises the trailer made. So let's talk about it in general first a little bit. If you don't know, the game is played, as I said, as a metric. So you're alternating between attackers and defenders. Um, the game is played in two phases. First, there's a preparation phase, which, which is close to a minute, um, where the defenders are setting up defenses like barricades or traps, and the, offen uh, offenders, <laughs> the attackers are trying to scout the area with drones, trying to figure out, figure out where, are where are the defenders, where did they set up their traps, where is the hostage. And then comes the action phase, where the attackers are trying to rescue the hostage or kill all the defenders, and the defenders are trying to stop them uh, for three minutes or kill all of them before they can rescue the hostage. So, um, there are multiple questions to be asked. The first one is, is the game realistic? Because a lot of people are complaining about the fact that the game is not realistic at all, and I would totally agree. The game is not a simulator, and I don't think it's trying to be one either. So, um, for example, strafing in this game is super, super quick. You can, stra uh, you can move sidewards very quickly without losing too much accuracy. Um, then guns don't have a lot of recoil. Well, basically no recoil whatsoever, actually. So they feel like pea shooters, which is obviously not realistic because there are guns and not pea shooters. So they should have some recoil. Um, then the biggest issue, though, is the UI. Because you see teammate outlines through walls, so you always know where your teammates are. And the uh, even bigger issue are the hit markers. Whenever you hit an enemy, you have a, an indicator on the screen that you hit him, that you did hit him, even if you did not see him because you were th shooting through a wall. And with the game having a lot of penetratable walls and actually a lot of mechanics to blow, blow up walls, uh, shooting through walls is obviously a very, very important thing, especially if you can see if you did hit someone or not, because that makes people just spam walls and trying to hit people without actually knowing if they are there or not. Which is obviously not realistic and can actually be very boring from a gameplay perspective as well. So, in general, with all the explosion and uh, the action going on, the game more feels like an action movie than a simulator. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, though, if you are not necessarily looking for a simulator, that is, obviously. So, because the other important question, and that leads us to the next topic, is, is the game tactical? And a lot of people are treating tactical gameplay and realism as two equal things, but they're really not. Games can be realistic without being tactical, and games can be tactical without being realistic. So, as I said, is the game tactical? I think so, yes it is. It could be more tactical, because a lot of people are, for example, complaining about the game being very run and gunny, so you're just running around killing everyone with your great reflexes and your Twitch shooter skills. I don't think that's necessarily true, but I see where they're coming from. Like, a lot of mechanics are supporting run and gun game uh, playstyle, like the quick strafing and the low recoil, for example. But I played uh, very tactical throughout the alpha, well, not super tactical, but kind of tactical, I guess, and I was doing quite good so far. Um, I did not have too much problems against those run and gun people. Um, there were one or, three, or two situations where I was like, ah, that should not have happened. This guy was running around like a crazy guy and he somehow managed to shoot me, even though I was in cover and was waiting for him and was prepared. But um, that did not happen too often. That's a graphical bug from the scoreboard, by the way. Don't get confused by that. <laughs> Just ignore it. It will be gone in a second. Um, so overall, I felt the game was pretty tactical. It could be more tactical, though. But there are a lot of options for attackers. Where do we go in? Do we go through the roof, uh, over the roof or through the basement? Or do we blow up all the walls or whatever? Where do we go in? Through the windows, maybe? And how do we act? Do we split up? Do we go as a group? And for the defenders, there are a lot of tactical options as well. Where do we put the hostage? Um, how do we lock down that room? Which traps do we use and where do we put them? Do we split up? Do, uh, do we have roamers roaming around or do we all go into one room and just lock that room down and make sure that nobody gets in there? So there are definitely tactical options and and stuff like that. Uh, and your team play is very tactic, can be very tactical as well, if you're actually playing with your team together and not just doing your own thing, obviously. But I think there's 
potential, at least potential for tactical game. It could be more though, it could be more. And I personally would like to see more. So uh, overall it's hard to tell though if the game is really that tactical or not because we only had a few days of playing and most people did not really know what they were doing so there was no meta so far and there was just not enough experience to really judge it yet I think um, but we got, a, got an idea, a direction where the game is going um, so we will see how that changes over time though or if it changes. So the most important question of all though is, is the game fun? And it was a lot of fun to me playing through the alpha, but keep in mind I'm a big fan of Special Operation Forces, so I might be biased here and maybe the theme carried it for me. Um, but I think that I will have fun even besides the theme, because as I said there is tactical gameplay and I personally, I, I don't dis insist on a simulator, I don't need the game to be super realistic. I would like to see some, st some things changed, for example in general the movement speed and especially the strafing speed slowed down a little bit. Um, um, or make it harder to shoot after you run, for example, uh, increasing recoil, removing hit markers. That were all things I would I would think would be good. But um, overall, I still had fun with the game, even in this state. And I think I will have more fun when when the game evolves and gets rid of the tactical issues the Disclosed Alpha had, and it had a lot of them. Um, so yeah, I think the game can be a lot of fun. It has a lot of potential, but it, I'm really looking forward, or I'm very curious if Ubisoft is taking the criticism they got, and they got a lot of feedback, um, telling them the po most of the points I was talking about earlier, actually. Uh, and I, I'm really curious to see if Ubisoft will take that feedback and change the game. And if they change it, what will they change it exactly? And how do they do that? So I'm really curious about that because that will, in the end, determine if the game will be... Well, who is the target demography for the game? Will it be fun for me or will it be fun for other people? Or will it be fun for anyone at all? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to tell right now. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, to sum it up, as I said earlier, this game is definitely not a simulator. If you're looking for a simulator, a simulation shooter, then this game is probably not for you because it's definitely not not trying to be one. Um, but if you're looking for a tactical shooter, I would keep an eye on it. I would not necessarily recommend it yet because the game is well only in close alpha, and uh, we don't know how the game changes um, in, in the end. And as I said, it could be more tactical than it is right now. So I would really carefully uh, watch Ubisoft, what are they doing with the game and maybe wait for release uh, to make a decision if you want this ga the game or not. But um, I think it has the potential to be a real good tactical shooter. So I'm definitely looking forward to play more. So you, you will probably see me playing more on uh, Twitch, for example, or I may probably make some YouTube videos as well. So yeah, as I said, I'm definitely looking forward to playing more, but I hope Ubisoft listens to the community and makes this game even more awesome uh, than it already was. Well, it was not awesome, but it was fun. <laughs> so I hope it gets more fun and gets really awesome because I'm really looking for a game like this. Please make it good, Ubisoft. Please make it good. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun and see you next time.